Yeah, see through. See through. Hey, hey, keep dreaming. <laughs> you know what I'm so, so, yeah, hey, that's why scripture says... Seven women, not. <laughs> <laughs> not that motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, uh, every tree that... I, I'll read it again. It's Matthew 15 and 13. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Yeah, man. Hey, America is a philosophy sitting in the way of progress. That's just all it is. You know? Progress being the kingdom of righteousness. Okay? So it's about to be rooted up. That's all. You know? Just like the... Uh, and, and, and guess who's going to do it? Yahweh Shimei Awashah. And, and guess who he's going to use? Jacob. What is the word? It's a planner, okay? That means to take place of, okay? What are we gonna take place of? It's wicked ass kingdom. It's gonna be destroyed, okay? It's gonna be made fertile, okay? And we're gonna be able to build in righteousness. Yeah, come on, brother. All right. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna jump around, but I'm gonna go to Psalms, chapter 80, verse 8. Thou hast brought, thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt. Thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Mm. Now I go back because mm. you, you were going into the odious works yep. and how the Canaanites was in the land. Right, we used to go over there and uproot them so the Most High could plant us in the land. Right. But see, that's going on all over again spiritually because now we are in, we are in spiritual Egypt. America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. And the Lord is going to bring us out of Egypt again, as written in uh, Jeremiah 14, 16 and 14. Oh, Jeremiah yeah, 16 and 14 on down. You know, the Heavenly Father is going to bring us out of Egypt again. Yes, uh, no, that matter of fact, Jesus bring it up. Jeremiah 16, 16 and 14. 14. And, and uh, he's going to plant us in our land again. This is Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 14. That's right. Says, says, therefore behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children out of Israel, uh, out of Israel, it's like it, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land Egypt, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And that land of the north is right here in America, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Cunt. Go ahead. It says, and from all the lands, whether he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So there it is. Yeah, that's the point. So it said not only out of, out of the land of the north, which is uh, Babylon, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, which is Basra, but from everywhere that the Most High has driven us, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to bring an elect up out of all the four corners of the earth. God. So again, Psalms chapter 80, verse 8. Thou hast, thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt. Thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. And the Most High said he was going to bring us again into our land, where the brother just read. So it says, verse 9, Thou preparest room before it, and this caused it to take deep root, and it filled the land. Now I'm going to jump down to verse 15. And the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou made strong for thyself, it is burnt with fire and is cut down. Uh, they perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Mm -hmm. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou made strong for thyself. Right. So, so will, yeah, so will not we go back from thee, quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Yep. Turn us again, O Yahweh, power of hope, cause thy 
face to shine and we shall be saved. So, yeah, as it's saying, uh, let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand and upon the son of man whom thou made it strong for thyself. So will we not go back from, from thee, quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. That's going on right now in these last days. We're being quickened through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. He's, he's turning us back to the Heavenly Father through the apostles, the prophets, by giving us this word so that we'd be made ready to be planted. Right. And that work is going to continue in the wilderness for the rest of the one-third. The 144,000 are going to be good. But then you got some of the one-third. That's why when we go into uh, Ezekiel, the 20th chapter, it speaks about purging out the rebels. There are going to be some rebels amongst the one-third. That's going to have to be purged out. So, yeah, we are being prepared right now to go into our land and be planted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, this doesn't go. This is talking about something else. I'll, right, I'll, I'll bring yeah, out that precept that, that backs up uh, what you read, uh, Jeremiah 16, 14. It's Jeremiah chapter 23. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, mm. that, th that they shall no more say, the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel from all countries, whether I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. So what was, uh, that was last week, and probably the week before last, we were speaking about the seed. Yeah, right. who, the, who the Lord Bingo. was coming back to deliver. Bingo. That's it right there. Yep. The Lord ain't dealing with our nation. Yep. He's going to bring out the seed. That seed of, is, is, you know, going back to that lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, one more time. God, this is uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23 and 8 says, But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel. The seed of the house of Israel. Now, it's a passage going into the deliverance. The, the pastors in these holy houses want to tell you that everybody can be delivered. Had he not read this scripture? So if he hadn't, that would make him incompetent. Mm -hmm. And if he has, then that would make him a goddamn false prophet exactly. and a liar. Yep. So which is it? Are they incompetent or are they just flat out liars? And I'm going I'm to bet my money on the, on the ladder. Well, we know about these goddamn pastors and these holy houses. They've been set up to teach what they're teaching, to lead all people astray and to give these heathens a false sense of hope. Yep. Yeah, bro. Gone. It's Jeremiah 23 and 8. Mm -hmm. But the Lord liveth, which brought up which, and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries, whether I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. But ain't that by the mouth of two witnesses? Like we read in, uh, uh, it's both in Jeremiah. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. But ain't it in the apocrypha? But anyway, Okay, I'll, I'll bring I'll bring out this ahead, just to, just to back up what the brother was saying as far as these other false prophets, you know what I mean, causing our people to err because they're incompetent, you know. They, they really don't read the scriptures, man. They 
they abide by Esau's workbook, his playbook of Catholicism. Yeah, I see you know? how it works. You probably know how it yeah. works too. Yeah. So they they have an itinerary yeah, that's right. with every Sunday yeah. what they're supposed to go yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because hey, hey, cause you can't stray outside of that, man. Right. Esau waiting on you. They'll shut your you know charter down. At 501 c 501, yep. You know? So this goes in the net. This Jeremiah chapter 23. Uh, woo! I gotta start on uh, verse 19. I gotta start at 16. I'm gonna jump around. It says, it's Jeremiah 23 and 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak, speak, speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. I want to show you, man, all types of false prophets are out here in this world, okay? Because they're not teaching you about the seed of Israel. They're not teaching you about how only our people are going to be delivered. They're not teaching you about one third of our people being delivered. They're not teaching you how the judgment of the so-called white man either. So yeah, man, they, they, they're prophesying out of their own mouth and not the mouth of the Lord, you know? They're really just causing you to err, you know? That's right, bro. Verse uh, 19 says, Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Yeah, man, hey, what's that whirlwind talking about, man? It's talking about thermonuclear destruction, okay? That that same uh, uh, flyby in which Yahweh Shai is gonna be doing, man, okay? <laughs> Yahweh Shai, hey, I'm telling you, hey, hey, you know, you know how Esau has those um, uh, uh, drones and shit, yeah, you know, huh? those remote drones? What's y'all gonna be doing with, with, the, with those other chairs, you know? He, he gonna be playing battleship with your ass, you know what I'm saying? He gonna say, America 60, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hit, a whole land, uh, taken out, you know? That's his fury, man. We had talked about uh, the day of vengeance is in, is in his heart, man. So yeah, hey, listen, it's it's not a light thing we how about she may have a shot. We how why you have a shot. This is judgment, man. Verse 20. It's Jeremiah 23 and 20. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he hath executed, until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter ye shall consider it perfectly. What you just read earlier? <laughs> Yahweh said, the day of vengeance is what? Well. Oh, right. In, in his, his heart. heart. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it, well, how did it go just now? It says, the anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. Mm. Yep, and the thoughts of his heart is vengeance. That's right. That's right. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfect. Because you're going to have a missile on your ass, man. Yep. You know? All people are going to realize the Lord is not to be reckoned with, man. The Lord is a terrible power. You know? And people are going to see this fury, man. You know? You're going to believe then. You know? Cause you gonna yeah. you gonna you gonna see yeah. Howard Shaw's garment, and you gonna be like, damn, <laughs> you know, a whole garment drenched in blood, you know, and that blood is gonna be on you damn crackers, and you other heathen nations, and two thirds of our own people, man, you know, it's not a joke. It's just, no joke. Hey, this ain't death comedy jam. Hey, shit is about to get real, man. That's right. You know? <laughs> hey, woo, scripture says the slain of the Lord will be many. Many. 
<clears throat> millions, as Apostle Tahar likes to say, it's going to be millions of people dying at the hands of the Lord. Especially you goddamn crackers that wear fucking truckers hats and walk around here like a goddamn idiot, okay? There's a special death reserved for you idiots. Oh yeah, brother. Yeah, man. Second Esther, chapter 15, verse 9. And therefore said the most high, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Right. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the, as yeah, as a flock to the slaughter. Right. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Mm. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Right, and so alluding to what the brother had said, this is spiritually uh, uh, Sodom and Egypt. So, so the verse that we had read, as far as talking about being brought up out of the north, that same north is America, which is also known as Egypt in the scriptures, which is also known as Basra, which is also known as Idumea, which is also known as Teman, which is also known as Edom, uh, Edom, Edom. Yeah. Or, or, or the land of, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, so yeah, hey, just, just to reinforce that point. So, so yeah, if you can read hey, the whole hell yeah. what, the whole, you want to go from the God, God. Yeah, because it hit everything. Yep. Because you were talking about going in on the pastors. Yep. Speak about how they led to the, the plot. And by the way, again, <clears throat> this is the most high speaker. So, yeah. It says, uh, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 9. And therefore said Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Right. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and they stretch out on and smite Egypt with plagues as before Woo! and will destroy all the land thereof. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, hey, even going back to Amos, uh, the ninth chapter uh, in the eighth verse. Hey, Yahweh Shimei Amashah's eyes are upon this sinful kingdom, man. And he's gonna destroy it off the face of the earth. That's right. <laughs> you know? Hey, hey, it said here, Egypt is gonna be destroyed, man. And all that innocent blood in which these, these other uh, these Edomites have shed, hey, that blood is gonna pursue you. God. You know? That's the same blood, hey, that your how by should be on shine's garment is gonna be filled with, man. Coming down on Idumia, on Edom. Okay? That hey, that, that is the main uh 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 nation. Is going to be uh, the objective of this upcoming destruction. All the rest of these other heathen nations, they gonna get theirs, okay? But but no fall, no no uh, judgment has been uh, more sought after than the Edomite these crackers being destroyed. It's a little bit more than that too. Some more. Uh -huh. Verse twelve. Egypt shall mourn. And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment. And the Most High shall that bring upon it. Yeah, and punishment that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah shall bring upon it. Yep. It say, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail. Their se Hold on, their seeds shall fail. Because we were talking about salvation is only for one seed. But their seeds are going to fail. Talking about these other heathen nations. Well, that's going to actual ag ag oh, agriculture. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to actual. Oh, okay, okay. Salak, Salak. 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 You going to read that again. God, God. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 13. They that till the ground shall mourn, okay. for their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hell and, and with a fearful consolation. Yeah. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right. 
that's the point. Uh, yeah. I was about this in Egypt. I was coming out of Egypt again. Right, yeah, oh. God. And, and, and those those fearful constellations are, are the chariots of your house by Shemel Shah, man. You know, coming down here blasting on, on cats, man.